on this. Welcome Hello. back. Hope you're well. Now, Corey fans, get ready for an explosive week in Weatherfield. Yes, it's yeah. been confirmed that next week's serial killer, Stephen Reed's shocking crimes, will finally be revealed. Oh, <laughs> I want it to carry on, but how will it all unravel? Well, before we chat to Corey stars, Todd Boyce and Tina O'Brien, let's have an exclusive look. You can't throw accusations around without proper proof. Thank you, Sarah. Someone's finally talking sense. You just keep trying to gaslight everybody, Stephen. Sally's in a state. This morning, she thought the police had dredged him out of the canal in a roof box. Carla thinks that he was dosing her with LSD. And that he dosed that roofer's bloke. And now he's dead. Hold on. She's accusing Stephen of killing someone. <laughs> uh, yeah, I found a body, I think. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. Oh, man. Right. a body. <laughs> it's all going to kick off. Uh, and so Todd, good. he's very nice in real life. And Tina, join us now. That's very true. He's yeah. very, very nice, nice in real life. life. Yeah. I mean, how exciting is his storyline? <laughs> how much are you enjoying doing it? It's it's just a gift, isn't it? I mean, everyone yeah. wants to play the antagonist, the, 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 the villain. Your life, so I honestly, and I did a Zoom with Ian McLeod before I started, three months before. I think he just wanted to make sure I was OK playing a murderer. And I found out I was a serial killer. <laughs> everyone in the cast seemed to know. You know. Um, so what, did he phone you up and just say, listen, are you well, ready for this? We did a Zoom, just, uh, yeah, three months, just, just, I think he just wanted to make sure, I think the blood drained from my face, <laughs> I'm going to murder someone? Yeah. And then I arrived in the green room and everyone said, so you're the new serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, no, it's been, it's been heaven, 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 heaven. And you always knew you were going to be leaving after a year and a half, is that right? Yeah, that's right. We, we toyed with the... I, we, Ian McLeod, they, they toyed with another six months, but I think the audience were just losing their minds, <laughs> just wanting justice. So, so we kept it. You want him to stay, half. don't you? I've got. It's a terrible thing to say, but I enjoy your character so much. I'm sort of like, I just want him to get away with it now. Uh, <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because it's got to be a comeuppance. It, I know. But you, do, you feel that about some some baddies, <laughs> yeah, don't you? Yeah. Think, oh, exactly. you know, it's, it's really so weird. Them, yeah. 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 What a great, what a great, uh, I mean, obviously, you know, you've had so many great storylines down the years, Tina, but what, but what a great storyline for you as well, because it's not like it's solely about you, but you're properly yeah, in with it. it just means that I get to work with Todd, which has been amazing. I'm sure everybody has always said he's such a lovely guy, so it's amazing that he plays such a baddie. Um, so well. Right? I know, um, but I think Sarah always believed that, you know, he's a really lovely man. He took her under his wing, so I think when things start to unravel, it's going to be very interesting. Well, things are unravelling yeah. because you know about... Well, you think you know about the money, don't you? Yeah. that he's stolen a little bit of money. Mm. A little gonna... bit of money. I think he's, I think he's <laughs> literally ripped off poor Gran's entire yeah. house and then he takes £250,000 out of the... Out of the... Uh, oh. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I, I, I am so at the point where I have no idea what I'm allowed equity, to say anymore. Yeah, the equity release was about that anyway, yes. wasn't it? From, from, my, from my mother's house, so, yeah. As a character, what's he like to play? Is he solely motivated by that, by gain, or is that, you know, is he damaged? Are there chinks in there, or is he just purely evil? What do you think? He was adopted out at a young age, as we all know, and I think that's always played, uh, that's motivated him to want to get his mother's approval yeah. and to be accepted. And so he's always forced himself to be successful. And uh, I think that's motivated everything. I mean, he was with, with uh, Amanda Barry, with, with Alma for, that was, that was 11. Always older women. I think there's a mother thing yeah, going on there. Yeah, um, Deidre was there. Mommy uh, issues. Paul love, Wilcox, <laughs> I love Todd's voice, because he has that, because basically, obviously, the twang. Too, but you ha he has that. Your character was like, I'm just off to get some drink. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like, where's he going? Who's he going to kill over there? <laughs> was, what's crazy is that you've done loads of Hollywood movies yeah. and stuff like that, but you find that this character, Stephen, is going to be a part of you forever, isn't it? Completely. And, you know, I, I started in 1996, and I, in total I will have done three years over, over 28 years in, uh, on, on the cobbles, and it's just, you know, to play a, a character in your oh, mid-30s... Oh, look! And then, bless, and then to play a character, you know, at, in mid-40s and now early 60s. It's mad, isn't it? Heaven. You it's know. so lovely. Yeah. And are you going to miss him? Really, miss really, Tosh? really going to miss him. I think we all are. Um, yeah, we've got a little surprise for you as well. But it's not oh. today. We can't, we can't oh give it to God. you yet. But, yeah, yeah. yeah. It does become like a family, though, doesn't it? it what, like can you, what can you tell us in terms of 
the old exit? Are there, like, will he get away with it? <gasps> will he... I mean, I know you can't say this, but what are our <laughs> options here? Is it like... <laughs> Because the EastEnders is always where they gone. They gone to Leicester. So, yeah. <laughs> so with Tori, what's the deal? Is it like, is it kind of Thailand or prison, or what's going? Like, what are the options? What? <laughs> I mean, they say that the sort of the most anodyne exit you can have is getting into the back of a cab. Yeah. Uh, which I did last time on, on, on the cobbles. <laughs> this time, I'm 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 not leaving in a cab. I can tell Ooh. you that much. Um, oh, I see a hearse. <laughs> oh, no! I mean, um, a black cat. Know, do you? <laughs> no. Yeah, it could be like dead like, or something like, like, like that. Yeah, but I thought more well, prison. But I love the way you, where yeah. you went. Oh, I went really dark. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> sorry. Really dark. Oh, really Straight. Dark. In. He does go to the airport, <laughs> um, but whether he gets on a plane, it, I think. I think some of the audience will be pleased with the result, and some may not. Uh, really? I well, I think more than, more more than any other soap, Corey owns it. This is a weird thing to say, but. Corey owns just murderers. You know what I mean? There's, there's, you, you know, you're following the footsteps of some really good actors oh, yeah. and great characters, yeah. aren't you? Good yeah. villains. Good villains. I mean, to even consider filling the shoes, you know, to Richard Hillman, Connor, yeah. Connor McIntyre, who's so amazing. You um, haven't had it easy either, have you? No, I'm, I'm surprised Sarah's not got more trust issues, to be honest. I mean, yeah. stepdad, now the uncle. She's, just she's, moving a, back. she's pretty well adjusted, considering, isn't she? I mean, yes. she's done a lot of therapy. Yeah. Every time I talk to you, Tina, you always say, oh, she's not an icon. Like, Sarah now is mm -hmm. iconic Aww. when it comes to Coronation Street. Can you, can you see that now? No. <laughs> Which is well, so Hel Helen and Sue to me are like you know um, Gail and Audrey. They're, you know these are the people that I'm so fortunate I get to work with daily. They're my icons. Could you now. imagine a life without her now? Sarah, no, yeah. she's so much part of my life. Yeah. I mean, from the age of sixteen, it's really strange, isn't it? Yeah. Did you it's think when you were sixteen that this would be this would you know this part would be with you for that long? No, not at all. Um, Look how little you are there. <gasps> Yeah. Well, what we do know is that, Tina, you ain't going nowhere. And you've actually got some massive storylines coming up as well. Yeah. So it's not stopping. What, no, I've, what been, can you tell us? I've been quite busy. I'm, again, I'm not really sure what I'm allowed to say, but um, <laughs> there's, there's a certain character coming back, um, daughter. Which I accidentally leaked. Um, <laughs> Bethany, yeah. Lucy, um, they, they, they just can't trust me with anything. I'm terrible. But yeah, so she's coming. Uh, Lucy's coming back in a couple of weeks. She's so loved as a character, but also as a human. She, we just adore her. So I think the Platt family can't wait to give her a big Aww. cuddle and, and get her back in. And I always say this, but when we went up there, I think we got a whole different appreciation of oh, how yeah. hard you guys work. Like. You know, the pages you do, the scenes you do, it is absolutely relentless, isn't yeah. it? Like, and I know, look, it's not coal mining, do you know what I mean? We're, yeah. we're yeah. all doing, we're all living the dream. Yeah. But at the same time, <laughs> you, it is a, it's a pretty relentless, you, you know, you, you need to go in and nail those scenes You've pretty much. You've got to know your lines, time, yeah, like. you can't not know You can't rock up not Yeah, no, your you can't lines. swing it, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> we, need, we, need, we need some of these, you guys have got these, uh, yeah. you know. Uh, uh, you, it's a complication. They're just a guide. Just a guide. Sorry, sorry. hardly use it. Tina, I want to grass. We've got to talk about you. We've got to talk about your daughter. She's doing so well. She's even up for an award, isn't she? What's going on? She is up for um, TV Times Award for Best um, Young She'll Performer. Bite me. I know. I am so, so proud of it. I think the voting closes on Tuesday, I think the 10th of October. So I'm going to absolutely plug this. Please <laughs> vote for her. I am super proud. And she's she's over the moon to, to yeah, have had this great. kind of. Yeah. Um, yeah, acknowledge Bless her. Uh, Coronation Street is back on Monday, the 9th, for Super Soap Week. Best of luck. Tina Todd. Thank you so much. Good what luck. What are you going to do next? Well, you got anything? Um, I'm going to do. Panto, the obligatory Panto, the diving. Oh, I'm doing Panto too. Oh, yeah. 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 I'll come see you, you come see me. <laughs> Deal. Deal. <laughs> Thank you yeah. so much Lovely. for joining Thank us. You. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's time